Hello and welcome to Polyfield. Let's create a cricket ball today. First, remove this default mesh and now let's take a UV sphere. Let's zoom a little bit. Now let's remove half of them. Go to the edit mode. Change the view to the X axis. Now select half. Let's enable the X-ray view. Select half and make sure all of them are selected. Yes. Remove them by pressing X and select the vertices. Now we have half. Now select this line. Click Alter and click to select this whole line at once. Now let's extrude. Press E and S to scale, extrude a little bit and click to apply. Okay, let's go to the object mode, uh, shade smooth, click here and shade smooth. Uh, let's uh, do it more smooth by adding a subdivision surface modifier. Generate subdivision surface, uh, make it to two. Okay, let's add another mirror modifier. Your modifier it would be in the y axis remove the x axis uh, the seam is little too big we need less seam so let's sharp this corner for now remove this go to, go to the edit mode and we need to add one more we need to add another loop cut let's press ctrl r click here and move it to the corner to make it sharp okay this is fine i think now add one here too ctrl r click and move it to the edge let's add another one here too ctrl r Okay, there, move it to the edge. Okay, fine. Let's go to the object mode and enable this. Uh, it looks fine. It will be fine for a cricket ball. So our ball is almost ready. The shape is ready. Now let's do our stitching. A cricket ball has six stitch, three in the right side here and three in the left side so the first one is straight here and the second and third one will be little uh, curvy let's do them uh, hide this sphere for now to do this let's change the view now take a cylinder uh, it's too big let's scale it down Mm, this one is fine i think let's compare with it okay it will be okay i think now go to the edit mode <laughs> copy it by pressing shift d and move it to the right side or press y to move it to the y axis uh this one will work i think now let's join them together select the top of them edge and select the bridge edge loop it's a uh, look flat let's go to this window and give it a cut of 16 Mm, it twisted in the wrong way let's change this interpretation to plant surface yeah nice now change the smoothness okay it will be fine i think and it's done now let's uh, make them little shorter press g to move and z to move them in the z axis uh, okay 
now we have our one stitches uh, shed smooth and if you want more smooth you can add a subdivision surface modifier make it to true now this is the one thread now we need a whole of them let's add another modifier called array modifier and it's in the wrong way mm, let's rotate this by going in the edit mode press a to select all now rotate r and press z to rotate in the z axis so, uh, just type minus nine zero to make it 90 degree and that's fine mm. We have a count two. Let's make it to 150. Sorry, uh, 100. Okay. Now we have. Now we have to deform it in the round shape. Let's add another modifier. It's called uh, simple deform. Now select band and let's bend it in the 360 degree and bend it in the z axis yes now we have our shape but it's uh, faces in the wrong direction uh, let's rotate this again uh, go to the edit mode by pressing tab select select it by pressing a now rotate it press r and let's rotate it in the x-axis and uh, in this way or just uh, write 90 to rotate it in the 90 degree okay for the object mode now they looks fine okay this is our one stitch let's show the square sorry the sphere it's too big um let's rotate this to match the ball now select the whole thing now r and y sorry x we should rotate in the x axis then press 9 0 okay now make it smaller press s and small let's zoom it as small uh, let's copy it first uh, because we need to apply the array and simple form modifier just copy it once for our another stitches press shift d and let's press y to move it to the y axis okay this is our another stitch so apply the apply the modifier for this Apply this to now select this and change the origin to geometry to origin now it's in the middle then let's attach it go to the x x axis view and we need to move it little right g for moving and y uh, just move it to this position then we need to scale it down uh, let's change the view now s And scale it down until the thread attached to the ball surface. Uh, uh, this one is fine, I think. Let's uh, disable the X-ray view. Okay, this one looks nice. Now, for the next uh, next stitch, we need to rotate the stitch in this way. So, go to the edit mode. Uh, hide them to have a clear view now we have the origin let's rotate it in the z axis r z 
and rotate it not this is the wrong direction in this way uh, okay this one is fine I think okay now let's uh, go to the object mode again show them all and let's copy it again by pressing shift D press Y to move to the Y axis let's apply them for let's uh, apply the error modifier and uh, simple deform modifier do it for both now let's attach them with the ball click this set the origin geometry to origin uh, do for this one too set origin geometry to origin now select this one change the view move it to the left side a little bit z g and y uh, this position is okay now change the view to the x axis or scale it up s and uh, this one is okay i think okay it's uh, look nice you can uh, set your own position until you are satisfied it's uh, okay for our tutorial for now i think let's change this to uh, move it to little left side g y and this position is okay uh, move this one little left g and y okay, and this one to g y and i think we should scale it up this one a little bit as okay i think it's fine now we need stitches in the left side too just click this one and add another array modifier that array and uh, it's in the wrong direction sorry not array please accept my apology let's add a mirror modifier mirror modifier uh, we need it in the y axis and just uh, remove the x axis sometime we have to select the mirror object and do it for them to modifier uh, mirror modifier and do exactly the same for this one too Now we have our stitches now it's time to give some color so select the ball and go to the material let's give it a red color and go to the render view to see the color now we have our ball and if you want to give a, a leather texture you can do it in the shading uh, just uh, go to the shading change it to render view 2 let's uh, remove this 
move this and to give a random uh, leather texture let's add a noise knot in the texture add made a noise texture and add another uh, bump knot it's in a vector bump we'll join this normal to the normal and add the color to the height let's see what it comes okay it uh, looks so messy let's increase the distortion to 500 and um, let's uh, increase the details to 8 okay now it uh, looks closer uh, let's uh, reduce the scale reduce the scale to 2 uh, it uh, almost like the leather thing okay uh, go to the layout and um, change the render to cycle now select uh, the GPU here if you have an extra graphics card let's uh, change this to 64 the max samples it will uh, reduce some time to view okay now we have our leather texture and it looks uh, nice but a little noise there let's enable the denoise to reduce uh, noises let's uh, add some more light uh, maybe a area light we'll lift it little up g to move and z to move to the z axis uh, let's uh, remove this default one scale it up a little bit and give it some power uh, maybe 1000 mm, no it's too much let's uh, reduce to 350 mm, it's okay i think it's okay for now so this is our cricket ball Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you need a specific tutorial. Thank you for watching.